So today, I'm very honored to have world champion juggler Volva teaching me how to juggle three balls. Volva is a retired professional juggler. He used to hold multiple world records, and he appeared on popular shows such as ABC Nightline and the Today Show on NBC. That's right, let's do it. This is what ultimately we're learning, right? What we're gonna start with is just a single ball. So just take this one and just kind of follow what I'm doing. So what you wanna do is you wanna take like a little bit of like a circular motion through it, and then you throw. Throw from the middle, like basically do like a little circle and throw from the middle. So, and try to throw it a little bit higher, like maybe a little bit above your eye level. Oh, it's, it's a little too much. Something like, yeah, 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 something like that. Catch uh, sort of where, where your shoulder is, right? So circular motion, throw from the middle and catch where your shoulder is, yep. Do your eyes follow the ball? Look at the top where the pattern is going to be, so like don't follow it all the way down, but okay. do track it when it's up, up here. Oh, don't look at me either. When it's up here, uh -huh. just don't, don't lower your head. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Cool. It's pretty good. The next thing you're going to want to do, and this is where everybody goes really wrong. So when people have two balls, they usually start doing this. Right, that's kind of like the, the uh, people just assume this is what you do, but that is not what you do. So uh -huh. instead, what you do, well, first of all, you start with the, kind of the same thing that you just did, right? But then after doing one, when the first one is at its apex, you throw the second one. <laughs> okay. First. first. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this is, the, this is the tricky part. Try to avoid, like, handing it over. Instead, you throw one, and then throw the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you're getting there. You're getting there. Don't worry about catching them so much. Worry about setting up the throws correctly and then catches will come. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's two <laughs> balls, guys. <laughs> okay. So now what you want to do is like uh, start once with the right and try to do the same thing with the left too. You just did one with your right. Uh, so, so do exactly the same thing but starting with your left. Oh, the second throw ends up being kind of lower than your first one. So try to keep them both at the same same level roughly. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> so right, so that okay. so that one was starting with the left, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh still your, your second one is a little bit lower than the first one, so you want them to sort of both kind of mirror each other. They should be both about the same height, a little bit above your head, but like not too far above your head. Looking for uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And keep alternating. Keep alternating. Okay, yeah. left first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's much easier to. Oh, that Ooh. was perfect. Yeah. I actually wasn't expecting my left to catch it. It lands on my hand. So keep doing that until it feels pretty good. Left first. Oh, man. I have something and you're juggling, maybe. <laughs> like basically what you're looking for here is consistency, right? So sometimes you get them just right. Sometimes it's, it's more like, like this, right? Like one is lower than the other. Uh, sometimes one goes forward, right? So what you want to do is like just keep doing it and try to get it to the point where it, like every one feels the same. So see if you can get, get 10 in a row. 10 in a row. Okay. Right first. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the. <laughs> we are on YouTube for too long. You tend to do that. <laughs> right first. Uh -huh. Okay. That first. Very good. That was perfect. Okay. Right first. Okay. That first. Four. Yeah. Okay. Right first. Five. Left first. Six. Right first. Seven. Okay, left first. Eight. Right first. Nine. Left first. Ten. Oop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Ten Amazing. I'm wrong, guys. <laughs> I'm doing better than I expected myself to do, to uh, be honest. <laughs> let's move on to three. With three, you're going to be holding two on one side, right? And one on the other side. Pretty much doing exactly the same thing you just did, right? One, two, right? Uh -huh. And so actually, maybe you first just do this a couple times. Uh -huh. So start with two in the two in the right. Go one, two, 
stop. That's just, that's all. Right, left? Yep, yeah. So it's exactly, yeah, and then do again. Okay, right, left. Uh -huh. As the second one is reaching its apex, just throw the third one in the same way that you threw the first one. So you go one, two, three, stop. <laughs> okay, let me, so right, left. And then just one more. And then one more. And don't even worry about catching it. Just, just release it. Okay. Right, left. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a count. laughs> it was almost like almost. four. You were just like... <laughs> almost, almost. Like, I gotta catch it with a left hand, right? Okay. That was, so, so that's not yet a juggle. So a successful juggle is basically performing as many catches as double the balls. So, <laughs> so you want to do six. Okay. So you want to do six to call it a, really what you're looking for is one two three four five six stop but what you're doing right now is called a flash mm -hmm. so you basically just go one two three stop so right left right oh my god yep 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 so here's the thing it's a trade-off the higher you throw them the more time you have but also the higher you throw them the harder it is to throw them accurately it's easier to control your throw if they're lower but then you have less time so like ultimately what you want to do ideally is throw them high and accurate. Right, left, right. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. A, I think that's, that's, a flash, right? that's a flash, right? That's a flash. That's, that's, a, that's a flash. The idea is that you're at your most stable when you're holding the balls in your hands. So you want to maximize the amount of time holding them and minimize the amount of time that they're in the air. What you're doing right now is you kind of go do, 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 and they're kind of all in the air. So that way you have the least control. What you want to do is like have just one at the in the air at a time. So that means that the throw actually happens when I catch the first ball. Third throw happens when you just, right before you're about to catch the second ball. There never was a time where all three balls are hit. No, there, there shouldn't be a time. There shouldn't be a time, yeah. okay. Unless there's a ball coming down and you need to free up your hand. That's Makes it. sense, yeah. I think when I throw it, all three balls were the air at yeah. one point. Okay, so, okay, so. Right, left, right. Perfect. The third throw is coming down, just throw the fourth. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Right, left, right. Left. Oh. <laughs> so, right, left, right, left. Yep, 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 yep. So your fourth throw is exactly the same. So you already did it. You already did the second throw. It's like, do exactly that same thing. Remember the circles that we did, right? So you do a circle and you throw it. So it should be landing on the other side of your body. If it's landing on the other side of the body, it's easy to make the next throw. Right now, what you're doing is like it's kind of landing in the middle. So right, left, right, left. Yes, oh, yes. Nice. There you go. That was four. That's, that's four, guys. That's four, guys. So <laughs> two more until I actually clean back and juggle yes. three balls. But yes. then, yes. but do 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 the four a few more times. Left, right, left, right. Hell yeah, that's perfect. Okay, one more time. Left, right, left, right. Nice. If your throws are perfect mm -hmm. and they're precise, it's very easy to just continue forever. Right, left, right, left, right, left. How many? That's six. That's six. That's six, right? That's six. Yeah, I did it. I did it, guys. You did it. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. So I thought I'm gonna learn this for like three days or something by myself. <laughs> I'm so happy I actually did it. Okay, I'll do some tricks. Fine, I'll do a three up. This one's easier. Let me try it again. Nice! Ooh! <laughs> right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself, okay. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Six. Six! Right, left, right, left. Okay, so I, I get it two times, just like how Wolva get a muscle two times. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> Alright, sounds like it's a draw. Yeah, so thank you so much Wolva for teaching me how to juggle three balls. I'm so happy that I'm able to learn it right at the spot without you breaking down step by step, uh, especially throwing the first ball and then the two balls. I don't think that I will be able to learn it at the spot today, so I'm super, super happy and thank you so much. You, you, did, a, you did a great job. I think you did better than, than most people. See you guys in the next video. Bye!